got that goddess energy, it's in your soul, queen, manifesting your reality. Save these words for me. I am perfect, well protected, I am so divine. Hello, hello. Welcome to another Tea Time with TV and Janae. Yes, yes. <laughs> So yeah, so we decided over tea today to just talk about what is considered healthy. There's so many myths about what is healthy. How about that? Okay. So mm -hmm. I know we've like had a conversation about like, you know, the vegan lifestyle, the mm -hmm. vegetarian lifestyle, things of that nature. But I'm finding that it's a lot of stereotypes about what is considered healthy. Like you have to like look a certain size mm. to be considered healthy. Mm. You have to um, live a certain type of lifestyle to be considered healthy. Mm -hmm. You have to like over exercise to be considered healthy. But what is considered healthy? Right. You know, mm -hmm. um, I've seen um, people that, like you said, they obviously look fit. Mm -hmm. They look like they lead a healthy lifestyle. Um, yeah, and then it's, the then they be really sick on the inside. So, um, considering like you, like we talked about before, um, about like starting within, mm -hmm. um, what you're putting into your body and things like that can make a big, big difference mm -hmm. on, on your health. So, Janae, considering that, you know, we kind of touched about, um, how different things can affect you. Mm -hmm. Like your health and how it makes you feel. So far as like healthy wise, like considering that you have been really leading a healthy lifestyle, can you touch a little bit about the differences of being healthy and looking healthy? <laughs> right. That part. <laughs> yes. <laughs> you know, because um you know, like, you know, for example, like, you know, one of my brothers, you know, me, who used to always tease me about being vegan and stuff, you know what I mean? And I'll be like, oh, you know, you better, you know, eat healthy and stuff like that. And he'd be like, oh, I'm healthy, I'm strong, you know, kind of thing. <laughs> right. I go to the gym all the time and stuff. And you know what I used to always say? But do your organs know that? Wow. You know what I'm saying? You wow. know what I mean? I'll be like, oh, what's your, but what's your organs looking like? Okay. You know what I'm saying? You uh -huh. know what I mean? You know, it'd be like, is your kidney stressed out? Oh, you know what I'm saying? love that, love that. You know, kind of thing. Uh -huh. and, um. You know, so it is definitely important to, you know, pay attention to, it's really, it's all these aspects of life, because it's like, you know, it's, it's, it's eating healthy, you know, uh, thinking healthy. Thinking healthy, okay. Thinking healthy. Yes. And stuff, you know, and, um, but yeah, and having healthy habits. Healthy habits. You know, it's them healthy habits, um. Yeah, do a lot for us, you know what I mean? It's like sometimes we have a lot of bad habits from just the way that we've been just conditioned over time. Right. You know, a lot of stuff that's just advertised to us and stuff, you know what I mean, too. You know, stuff that we just pick up on. Not even, like, thinking about, you know, how we're really being affected. Right. By these things. Right, right. And I, I understand, like, like, I just touched a little bit about how there are stereotypes, but there really are stereotypes. Yeah. Like people would look at you and they were like, mm, I know they they out of shape, you know, mm. they not eating right, oh, and that's yeah. not necessarily true. Yeah, it's not necessarily oh true. Oh my god, I said that so many times. <laughs> I was like, just because a person is skinny does not mean that they are healthy. Right. Right. Yeah. Yes. yes. <laughs> real. Yeah. It's it's like it's like it's like it's a lot of myths about the way you look. Um, assumes that you that you are considered healthy and need a healthy lifestyle mm -hmm. and that's not necessarily true right um I, i've seen like people that don't look like your average type that you would consider healthy mm -hmm. and be like the healthiest people right. you know what i mean mm -hmm. so like it's all like you said it's all in a mindset it's a mindset yeah, yeah, it's like sure. you could be doing the right things in the inside it's like you don't need to look a certain way to be considered mm -hmm. healthy like mm -hmm. this is funny you remember when we did when I was doing um belly dancing, remember yes. we were watching belly dancing, yeah. and my instructor Nita, mm -hmm. mm -hmm. like 
beautiful but she was very voluptuous mm -hmm. okay everything was boom pop bam yeah. everything right and you would look at her and you would think okay you know she's big she has you know where everybody's looking for her, like the big hips and the big booty all this stuff like that mm -hmm. but you would never think that she was really like a health guru okay mm -hmm. but she actually was yeah. like eating healthy vegan lifestyle um, and could do splits better than any small person that I have ever right. seen. And, and do the belly dance to like, it'd be like, girl, like, I was like, what? I was like, so, but the, I'm just trying to bust those myths that you don't need to be like super small or skinny to be considered healthy or do things, you know, that they consider like the healthy person, the you know? Is. And I, I, I really commend and I chip, tip my head off to people that are not in that, that typical look that people think you should be. Mm -hmm. And they're like, they're dancing, they're modeling, yeah. they're doing everything mm -hmm. that people think that you cannot do. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So that's why we just wanted to talk a little bit about like, like not falling into that stereotype that you can't be considered healthy because Absolutely. of the way you look and your size and stuff Absolutely. like that. Like I said, it's stuffy starts yes. within, mm -hmm. and you can you can be healthy. And stop looking at the scale. Stop looking at the scale. Yes. Uh, okay. Make yourself crazy. Make yourself crazy. Mhm. Mm yeah. So yeah, and get off away from these labels. That's I'm gonna right. say. I know some vegans. Mm -hmm. that are unhealthy be like <laughs> look because they're eating like they're not eating any meat okay. but they still not like eating healthy not eating healthy you know what i'm saying you know like you know what i mean they still gotta like really you know what i mean like they you know it's 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 they be getting out of shape and everything and stuff like in a sense of like because they're eating a lot of snacks mm. you know what i mean or you know or they still you know um, overeating with certain things, you know what I mean, and creating an imbalance in a system, and you know what I mean, it's like their skin still bad, and you know what I mean, you know they still like you know don't have energy or whatever, um, because it's like you know that eating, like I said, they're not eating meat, but they're still not eating healthy food. Okay, yeah, let's talk about that energy thing. Yeah, that energy thing. Um, yeah. So you know how we be, be joking about um. Woo, dang, going up that flight of stairs is a little different and stuff like that, you know? <laughs> like, um, I, I like, like, I noticed, like, just going to the gym, like, it's certain things that I could do and, and I could do it for hours, like, like, say, treadmill, yeah, for instance. Right. Like, I could, I could walk on that treadmill, yeah. don't feel no pain, <laughs> but then I'll get, like, on a stag lava mm -hmm. or something like that. Even that elliptical gonna be hitting a little different. Yeah. I'm like, but isn't that interesting that how you your body reacts to certain different things right. you know especially when you think like you're you're, you're healthy you're strong you can do mm -hmm. that and then you get that one moment that it's like no like so have you ever had that moment <laughs> i'm like them steps be hitting me hard oh. i'll be like what is going on because <laughs> okay. i'm so used to being so fit uh-huh you know what i'm saying and you know but it's like just the way my endurance my endurance my stamina yeah, and stamina and things is like you know it's just so different now yeah and um yeah you know what i mean it's like just the the, the the way I be feeling my muscles and be like they really are working. They really you know are what working. I mean? It'd be they like, really yo, like, you know, if I go up and down the steps a couple times, like it's back to back and like that one, you know, you forget something, you gotta run back, forget something again, you gotta go back and I'd be like, whoo, all right, hold on, give me a minute. Let me get my breath. <laughs> right, right. You know? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but that, but that, but that's all we wanted to kind of touch on. Mm -hmm. That, you know, the myths about what's considered healthy and what's not and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. Like I said, you can be feel healthy in one aspect of your life and then, you know, still have unhealthy habits in another aspect. Yeah. But, yeah, but don't fall into that trap. Don't fall into that trap yeah. of feeling like you need to look a certain way to be mm -hmm. considered healthy. Because, like you said, me and my sister, we two different sizes. Mm -hmm. And, like, she struggles with her things with yeah. feeling healthy, and I struggle with <laughs> my things with feeling healthy. But, yeah, but we just wanted to mm -hmm. just talk about um, the yes. myths about... And continue to explore yes. your own body, yes. you know what I mean? You know, and, and always working on trying to do better. Right. You know, right. I think it's important. Yeah. But... That was another tea time with TV and Janae. Until next time. She's a force to be reckoned with. Yeah, she's one of a kind. Got that confidence and style. She's blowing your mind. With every step she takes, she's owning the scene. A queen in her own.